Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. I wanted to do something a little bit different today and just uh, vlog on my way home from work. So, as you guys know, if you've been following my work closely, I'm a pharmacist by trade. So, I still work one or two days a week to help out uh, one of my mates who's a manager after I quit that stressful job of mine last year to follow my passion of helping people get into crypto. So. I'm hoping to cut that back to um, no days a week and do crypto full time, seven days a week um, before the end of the year. So it really just so I can keep on top of all the latest news and never miss a beat for you guys. Um, as it is frustrating if something important happens and it happens to be that one or two days a week when I am at work. So what I want to talk about today is. Um, space in general I guess and particularly central banks and prominent figures and what they're coming out and saying in this space so that quote by Gandhi you know first they ignore you then they laugh at you then they fight you then you then you win and that's definitely apparent in the crypto space and you know a few years ago when I started trying to get my friends into crypto you know they would laugh at you and laugh it off and you know digital money that, that's never going to work you know and then you try and explain to people what Ethereum is 18 months ago, and again, you know, kind of not interested. There's a hundred coins out there. Why would that one happen to, you know, to go up in price? It's just another fad, and it's definitely obvious now that the big names, you know, Jamie Diamonds, all these people. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is that um, I guess the other day even the head of the, I think it was the Dallas Fed or the Philly Fed, so one of the Federal Reserve in America, one of their member banks came out and said, cryptocurrency is not going to affect monetary policy, it's it's too small to think about or worry about, and we shouldn't be wasting time even talking about it. Now, the same day, Christine Lagarde, who's head of the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, okay, they're the central bank of central banks, she comes out and says that cryptocurrency should not be ignored, okay, and even more recently, she's made other statements basically saying that cryptocurrency is here to stay. It needs to be acknowledged. It's going to play some sort of role in the future of our monetary system. Now, that that alone, those conflicting stances of the, those that want to continually bury their head in the sand versus those that are acknowledging that this is once-in-a-lifetime technology that is going to change the financial system. So... The next thing I guess I want to talk about is Russia issuing that state back cryptocurrency. So we saw in Australia, closer to home here, that um, the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, a few months ago played with the idea of making the Australian dollar digital. And again, my thoughts on all this are that the whole point of cryptocurrency is to be decentralized. So if they want to issue a central a central currency again that's in way, many ways it defeats the purpose so those servers whoever's issuing that state-backed cryptocurrency are going to be vulnerable it's going to be a point of centralization that can be attacked or targeted or whatnot so look maybe they'll work maybe they can have some decentralized form of blockchain but I, I, it's never going to be the same as everyone running a node for Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever coin you want to mine and, and running a node to support the network, okay? It's never going to replace that that, um, that decentralization model, which is why cryptocurrency succeeded in the first place. Those centralized currencies are going to obviously not be privacy-based coins. They're going to have a ledger. They're going to want to use them for tax purposes to track every transaction you do and all that sort of thing. So, look, it's great if they want to issue those and have a play around with it. At the end of the day, it's just acknowledging that cryptocurrency is real and it's here to stay and that they want to use the technology. But I think, you know, it's going to have to tie into the Ethereum blockchain or or Bitcoin, if you know, as they progress forward with Segwit, it's going to have to tie into the main chains that we already use that all the projects are being built on top of. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, again, the fact that all these world leaders and governments are even talking about cryptocurrency is such a huge positive. And well, less than one percent of people around the world use crypto. 
no guarantee. So we're definitely getting up there, okay, but just wait till this gets into developing nations that it hasn't touched yet. That's the real room to grow. So if they can skip the entire um, banking sector, okay, so just like they don't have phone lines in all of these countries, they've skipped that whole sort of generation of technology and gone straight to mobile phones. I would expect throughout Africa, um, you know, other countries in South America, they entirely skip that banking system and they just have cryptocurrency or those sort of decentralized models of payment transfers, loans, for infrastructure and all that stuff um, and hopefully the banking system doesn't taint these countries and they have a completely new economy so that, that's what I would love to see and that's what cryptocurrency the blockchain decentralization frictionless money okay that's what, what all this blockchain stuff makes possible which wasn't possible before so that's why I'm excited look Ethereum just successfully hard forked Bitcoin's still got that um, issue of whether or not they're going to do the uh, block size increase in, in a few weeks' time. Okay, I'll, I know I've spoken about that enough as it is, but you know, in a few months from now, and all this is behind us, mass adoption is going to continue. So I see us having a big run in the cryptocurrency space into the end of the year, and if nothing goes wrong, you guys know I think that 2018 could. Be become known as so we look back in history as the year the mass adoption was really achieved so maybe Amazon um, Apple maybe a huge company one of the largest companies in the world is the first mover to come out and say we are going to accept cryptocurrency as payment um, that would be huge and you know the old saying nobody wants to be first but then as soon as that first company does it just like we've seen in Japan the companies that um, started accepting Bitcoin have seen um, benefits for their businesses and then it's a rush for everyone else to accept it because they don't want to lose business so it's going to be the same with, with the largest corporations companies in the world multinationals no one wants to be first and be seen to be using this you know fad digital money they want they've got their friends at the banks you know who who pay them for favors and all that sort of thing you know <laughs> You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, okay? That's all gonna happen until it doesn't. Until the first company starts accepting crypto, all of us that are in the crypto space that have made money are gonna start using those businesses that accept crypto and starting our own economy. And then obviously other businesses are gonna see that benefit and they're gonna wanna start using crypto. So it's just that snowball effect. And I think next year could really be that year that we see mass adoption. So. I know there's been a lot of fluctuations in price. I think some of you that are only, the majority of my subscribers have probably been into crypto for 12 months or less, and you've already seen some huge, you know, 80% retracements, 100% moves up in a month, okay? The world of crypto is crazy, and you're starting to realize why. Sometimes hodling, so just, just buying and holding outperforms these people that are trying to just trade, and, Good traders in this space will tell you that they they didn't make as much money as if they had just bought Ethereum a year ago and held it, or, or maybe even Bitcoin. So make that decision if you're going to be a hodler. The market cap has gone up of you know entire cryptocurrency space a thousand percent. It's going to keep going up. Okay, this isn't just comparing it to the stock market or individual stocks. If the entire world adopts cryptocurrency, who knows how many zeros the market cap of cryptocurrency can have. So we all know how much money's in stock markets, derivatives, bond markets around the world. All that money can flow into crypto. Okay, we've got a long way to go before I see um, a bubble when it being overvalued. So the ICO space definitely, I've made videos greater than 90% of projects are gonna fail. The fact is there's not enough developers to even make these projects, good developers that understand how, how blockchain works and, and even if they fail for the first few years,
maybe they succeed, but that's going to be five years away. Okay, so a lot of people expecting too much. They they buy an ICO and they expect it to go to the moon a month later as soon as it hits an exchange. That's not how this world of cryptocurrency works. People that have made big money in this space are those that are patient, that didn't get shaken out when there was violent moves in one direction or the other. They understand what they've invested in, and that's a huge part of my philosophy, is obviously teaching you guys the fundamentals and understanding um, what you're investing in, the psychology of the market, as well as using a bit of technical analysis to guide us for a little bit of trading on the side. For some entries and exits if you're getting into a coin or maybe when to take profits but by far the most important thing is understanding what you're investing in in my mind if you're going to succeed in the long run and spreading the word you know you want to be able to go out for dinner and explain to your friends exactly why the coin you've invested in is a good investment not because you saw a post that it was um it was going to the moon or everyone was talking about it okay that's not a good reason to invest money in something in you guys know, and particularly my members know, that I don't invest in anything that's getting hyped. I only invest in things that are off people's radars. And you've got to recognise that maybe when you're investing in something that's in a bubble, that's in, that's only going up because of hype, and it hasn't got anything fundamental behind it. So, look, it's pretty exciting times in the crypto space. The next few weeks is going to be really interesting to see how this Segwit 2x hard fork debate finally plays out um, you know I do expect more volatility you guys know that but towards the end of the year it's just so so much good energy in the crypto space people helping each other good projects that are out there to make the world a better place for, for everyone involved not just to make money okay and they're the projects that I like I don't accept money for any of the projects that I cover, guys. That's it. I hope you guys understand that. Um, I've been obviously contacted by multiple ICOs and companies now that want me to use my my channel as an outlet to to get investors into them, and and I have a, I've made the decision that I'm not going to accept any money from any project. Okay, so a few projects maybe have bounties where they'll send you. Um, tokens or a small reward if you make a video about them you know I'll, I, I obviously um, use those as a way to get a little bit of income because I, I am doing this full-time I've got to live off this so as, yeah as far as money goes you guys know that if I make a video about something I think it's a quality project um, I may not be investing in it personally but I think it's a good project it's a good message it's helping the world it's a good, honest team behind it, particularly in Australia. I'm going to do everything I can to help these Australian startup businesses in this space. Um, as a lot of the regular outlets or ways that investors get introduced to this space, they're just not there. So there's not enough people in the investing world understand cryptocurrency and blockchain yet. And um, that's definitely something that guys if you've got a good honest project and it's helping people out then, then please get in touch with me and i'll continue to cover those so that's probably it for today guys um before i go i just want to say that i will be um on the gold coast tomorrow night um exciting project i can't tell you too much about yet but um, i'm working closely with some guys to to make investing in cryptocurrency as easy as possible and it's going to be Again, I can't give too much away. It is going to be far easier than the current ways to invest in cryptocurrency. You're going to be able to get exposure to multiple coins, okay? Too many people still uh, struggling to get their head around wallets, private keys, all that sort of thing, or they want other people to manage their money for them and diversify into other coins. They don't have the time to do that. So I've got plenty of exciting news on the way before the end of the year um, so stay tuned guys tomorrow night we're going to be at, at Bine um, Bar on the Gold Coast swing by we'll do a live Q&A okay? I'll answer your questions um, I'm not sure if we'll do it live on YouTube or just upload it later but the living room of Satoshi reached out to me today um, they want to they want to help me they want to sponsor the event so look guys fantastic um, 
group of guys that I've formed a relationship with now. I hope all you guys use that link to, to pay your bills and to use your profits in cryptocurrency to, to pay bills or for personal expenditure as you don't have to pay tax um, on those profits if you're living my using the living room of Satoshi, use that link, pay the bills, sign up, you get rewards points as well. Um, just follow that link below. So exciting times. I really hope to see a few of you guys on the Gold Coast tomorrow night um, for a beer and obviously we'll, we'll talk crypto and um, I'm not sure how much we can give away about this exciting project that's, that's coming out pretty soon but um, I'm sure those guys will let all you know and I'll be helping them launch that as well um, through my channel. So thanks for tuning in guys. Let me know if you've liked this um, vlog style video. Um, please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around and as always Thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.